Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about right circular cone now. What is a cone? When you think of cone, the, the first thing that comes to your mind must be the ice cream cones. Right? So cone is a 3D shape that tapers smoothly from a flat base, there is a flat base, you see there is a flat base, to a point called apex, this point is called apex. So it's a 3D shape, it starts from a base and then it tapers to a point and this point is called apex. So for a cone the base need not be circular but the cone which we are discussing is right circular cone where the base is circular. This is circular, right? And this base is actually perpendicular to the axis, if you see. So this is right circular cone. Okay. So if you want, we can define the cone in another way. All the lines that or all the line segment that joins the apex to the perimeter of the base, it forms a cone. Okay, so this is a circular base for right circular cone and then if you see this is perpendicular and if you want you can define another way all the line segment that join the apex to the perimeter of this circular base. We have this perimeter. So any point in the perimeter you take, any point in this perimeter you take and you join these points, each of these points actually with the apex, you will get a cone. Correct. It has a flat base and since it has curved surface area, it is not a polyhedron. So the cone which we will be discussing is right circular cone where the base is circular and actually this base is perpendicular to the axis. Right? The axis passes through the center of the base at, and uh, at the right angles to the plane. That is right circular cone and in this chapter we will be discussing only about right circular cone. So whenever cone is mentioned, it is implied that we are talking about right circular cone. So this is not a right circular cone if you see why because in this case if you see the base is circular but the angle is not 90 degree. Okay, So both angles should be 90 degree and the base should be circular for a cone to be qualified as right circular cone but we will not be discussing about uh, a non right circular cone in this chapter. Okay, So to understand this uh, cone in detail let us have an activity. So in this activity, what we'll do is we'll take a triangle, a right angle triangle, and we'll take a stick. We'll paste one of the side, maybe base, okay, or perpendicular, not hypotenuse. We'll stick. So take perpendicular to be on separate side, you'll get a better cone. Right? Stick a stick to the perpendicular side. This is perpendicular hypotenuse base of the right angle triangle in the fashion showed and then rotate this. So if you rotate this from this side, if you rotate this from this side, what you will see, you will you'll get a cone like structure, you will feel the cone like structure, right? it will be similar to this. If you keep rotating, you will get the feeling of a cone like structure, you are rotating in this direction and that is a cone, that is an activity to visualize a cone. We will do one more activity to find the surface area of the cone. Okay, So the, surf the surface area of a right circular cone can easily be found out. We can do an activity, you can try this on your own. Take a right circular cone and cut it. You can take any joker cap as well that is also typically a cone. You can cut this along this line. Any line you take from a from a point in the circumference to the apex and just cut it. So when you cut it, you open it, you get a sheet like this. So the area of this sheet is nothing but the area of the cone, surface area of the cone. Right? So we can easily find the area of the sheet. How? So if you notice, this sheet is nothing but a lot of triangles. Okay? So there are so many triangles. So I mean you can just keep drawing so many triangles. So area of one triangle, area of each triangle, if you see. We notice area of each triangle will be what 1 by 2 into base. 
So let's suppose this is the base and this is length L that is common for all the triangles. Right? I mean, assuming this is also L, I am taking such a small triangle that this is also L, base into L, correct? From here to this. And there is nothing but uh, a fixed value for any triangle. If you see the length value is fixed. Because I am taking very small triangles, I am taking very small triangles and all these triangles have this fi fixed value of L. So area of each triangle is 1 by 2 into B into L. So total area of the sheet is what? Sum of area of all triangles. Correct? So this is B. Let's suppose this is B1, this is B2, this is B3, this is B4, like that. So total area is total area is area of triangle 1 plus triangle 2 plus triangle 3 goes on. Let's suppose this is triangle 1, this is triangle 2, triangle 3, triangle 4, like that. And that is nothing but 1 by 2 into B into L. So I will first write L and then I will write B. B1 plus 1 by 2, L into B2 plus 1 by 2, L into B3 and goes on. So if you take 1 by 2 L common, what you, what you get is B1 plus B2, it goes on. Correct? So B1 plus B2 plus B3, if it goes on, the whole thing is what? 2 pi r why it is 2 pi r because the radius of this cone is what r this length is what what 2 pi r correct and this length actually if you see is 2 pi r right if you start from let's suppose a and a dash you cut this point into two part this is a and this become a dash so this, if you start from A to A dash in this in this direction, right? A to A dash, what you get is two pi r. So A to A dash, this length is what two pi r. So replace this b1 plus b2 plus b3 vn with two pi r. This becomes one by two into l into two pi r. Two two gets cancelled. You get pi r l, and that is the curved surface area of the cone. That is two pi r into l into 1 by 2 that is pi r l. Squared surface area of the cone is pi r l. Okay. Hope you understand. The curved surface area of the cone is pi r l. Okay. So the total, total surface area of the cone then you have to add this circular base also that is pi r l plus pi r square. Okay. So this is a curved surface area. And total area will be what? Pi R L plus area of the base that is pi R square. So our cone we have two different kind of area which we generally talked about. The curve surface area that is pi R L and the total surface area that is pi R L plus pi R square. Okay. Hope you understand this derivation pretty simple. Take any cone, cut it and then uh, find the area of the sheet that you get when you unfold the cone and that comes out to be pi rl. So let's take some numericals to understand the concept in detail. Right? So we have L and L is something called slant type. When I say pi rl, L is slant type. Term called slant type. The curved surface area of the right circular cone whose slant height is 10 and the radius of the base is given. So we have to find curved surface area is nothing but pi r l. r is given 7, l is given 10, unit is also same, let's put the value. So 22 by 7, r is 7, l is 10 and this is centimeter square. You saw this 
you get 220 centimeter square okay let's take another question the height of the cone is 16 centimeter its height is given 16 centimeter okay okay this is h sorry this is h height and the base radius is 12 find the curved surface area and total surface area so curved surface area we know is what pi r l so we don't know l how to find the value of l so please pay attention here here we will show you how to find the value of l so if you see this triangle or oh, let's let's make it a triangle here. right so this is a triangle and let me name it a b c right if this is r this is h this is l it is the right triangle so by pythagoras theorem i can say that l square is equal to h square plus r square correct hypotenuse perpendicular base or i can say l is nothing but root of h square plus r square so let's put the value here. This is a very important formula. Please pay attention here. L is the slant height is nothing but root of h square plus r square. Put the values here, all centimeters, no problems. H, h is nothing but 16, 16 square plus r is 12, 12 square root. So you solve this, you get 20 centimeters. So we got the value of L. Since we got the value of L, I can easily find curve S is nothing but pi R L. Put the values. 22 by 7 is pi, r is 12, and l is 20 and centimeter square. Correct. And you can just calculate the value, I will not do it for you. And find total surface area. So, total surface area is what? You get curved surface area, which you already found, plus pi r square by pi r square, the area of this circular base. So this is 22 by 7 into 12 into 20 plus pi is 22 by 7. R is what? 12. 12 into 12. The whole thing is centimeter square. You can just add this. Okay. And what you get is the answer. Approximately you get something around 1206 uh, centimeter square. We just do the calculation. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.